Phosphorus is required by plants for optimum growth and reproduction. Phosphorus should be included in every nutrient management plan because it plays a vital role in energy transfer and photosynthesis. Understanding the phosphorus cycle can help you manage and maximize fertilizers and soil nutrients in your fields. Phases of the phosphorus cycle include inputs to the soil, losses from the soil, components of the environment, and plant uptake. Inputs are the different ways phosphorus makes its way into soil and includes animal manure biosolids, plant residues, atmospheric deposition, and mineral fertilizers. Losses from the soil are the activities that draw phosphorus out of the soil, including crop harvest, runoff, erosion, and leaching. Phosphorus components of the environment are the transformations of forms within the cycle, including organic phosphorus, soluble phosphorus, primary minerals, mineral surfaces, and secondary compounds. Plant uptake is when the plant's roots absorb the phosphorus as phosphate from the soil. Plants need phosphorus very early, from the first stages of germination through seedling stages, for energy reactions, cell division, and growth. But phosphorus doesn't move much in the soil, staying put mostly where it's placed during application. Because of this, placement of phosphorus fertilizers is a major management decision. In many scenarios, placing phosphorus close to the seed as a starter fertilizer results in increased yield. Phosphate fertilizer has traditionally been a part of fertilizer programs, but many farmers question how much phosphorus to apply. There are many parameters used in determining phosphorus rate, including soil test levels and cropping system. But with yields and nutrient removal rates outpacing fertilizer application, many soils in North America are testing below the critical level for phosphorus. As levels continue to decline, it's important to supply adequate phosphorus to meet crop demand throughout the growing season.